Hey guys, it's Carrie, your friendly local makerspace librarian, back for another virtual practical making session. And this week we are going to be doing uh, a clay monstera leaf bowl. Um, it's actually really simple and the only part that takes a while is having the patience to let the clay dry. Okay, so to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as our rolling pin. So I'm gonna set aside our stencil just for a second. And you can use any sharp knife in your kitchen if you have an X-Acto knife. We just happen to have those in the maker space, so that's what I'm using. And you just kinda wanna warm up the clay a little bit. If it was sitting in your car or your kitchen, it's probably just fine. And all we're gonna do is roll this out and then we're gonna set our stencil on top of it and kind of trace around um, if you have a regular rolling pin that you would rather use you sure can I just wanted to make sure that if you didn't you would still be able to do this craft And as you're rolling, just kind of check in to see about how far away you are from the shape that you want. It just needs to be a little bit wider. That's pretty close. Let me try to flip it this way. There we go. And take just a little bit further this way. like I'm I'm sitting pretty good I can even move it over a little bit as you're rolling this out and you're kind of checking to see how close you are to the shape that you need also make sure that you're checking to see how thick because you want to make sure that it's close to a quarter of an inch it doesn't need to be exactly a quarter of an inch but you don't want it to be too thin or you know, breaking and crumbling can happen a lot easier. So as you're rolling, just, you know, keep an eye, keep an eye on how thin or how thick your clay is. And basically what we're gonna do is just use your cutting implement to go all the way around. I'm gonna go around the outside first and then I'll cut back in to do these others. Because I think that that's the easiest way to go about this. So now we'll go in and do the little leaf cuts. You can add more of these if you think. I wanted to keep mine pretty simple. And then you should be able just to kind of grab those little bits right out. And kind of clean up the insides. And the outsides should kind of lift right off. Any part that doesn't, just like we did with those inside pieces, you can kind of grab them. This last one here. And then you can clean up any edges that are not as precise as you would like them to be. Or if the lines aren't as smooth. I guess I don't need that on there anymore. But we're gonna try to lift it up, kind of take a look at both sides. Okay. Transfer your clay to the paper towel 
And then all we're gonna do is take this and set it over the back of a bowl. And like I said, we are in the maker space today and I don't happen to have a bowl of wrap around, but what I do have that is bowl shaped is our Stormtrooper helmet. So, all you wanna do is make sure that you have this kind of slightly rounded shape. So whatever you end up putting in this, jewelry, keys, whatever, it'll stay in the middle of the bowl. And this is the patience part. You are gonna need to let this dry for at least 24 hours. So, set my Stormtrooper helmet back up there. The first time I made one of these, I let it dry overnight painted it up and uh, I was going back to put second coats of paint on and it just crumbled in my hands. So definitely make sure that you are letting it rest for that full, <laughs> full 24 hours minimum. And after you have let it dry for at least 24 hours, you should end up with pretty solid uh, monstera bowl shape and as you can see there's a slight curve to it so whatever I put in there is gonna is a, it's gonna stay right towards the middle so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put on one coat of the green we'll let that dry we'll do two coats of the green and then if you want to you can take the gold and go right around the edges all right so here we are gonna go with green paint and you're just gonna go ahead and, and paint it on there. Um, pretty thin coats, you don't need a whole lot. You want it to dry pretty quick. So thin coats, and we'll do two of them. But the clay so soaks up the paint pretty easily. It's kind of a nice smooth surface for you to lay that right on top of. For the gold, we're gonna take the flat part of your brush and we're gonna kind of flatly dip it in that gold paint and that's gonna give us an easy surface to kind of dab on to the flat edge of your bowl. And you can swipe it on or you can dab it on, but it's kind of an easy flat surface to flat surface instead of trying to get in there with just the, the end part of your paintbrush. You'll probably use that too, but we're gonna go and put one whole coat of gold all around the edges and then uh, for that I recommend two coats total as well. Just putting that flat edge right along the edge of your bowl. And when you get to the tips, you can use different parts of the brush. It's another reason we asked you to get that quarter inch thickness because it gives a, a better surface for you to get that gold paint on. We'll just keep working our way around. Now to get these inside bits, it might be easier to go from the back gives you a little bit more margin for error. But again, once you get the paintbrush in position, it's gonna be using that flat part to get the gold paint on those edges. And then you can kind of look at it from the other side to see if you're getting right up close to that edge or if you are gonna to need to use the bottom part of the paintbrush. Just go slow and be careful. Just like that. And that is our Clay Monstera Bowl for this month. 
Next month we'll be experimenting with some turmeric dye and we're gonna borrow from some of the Japanese indigo dyeing techniques. So it's kind of a super fancy tie dye. Hope to see you then. Bye.